Hello friends, this video on coal and petroleum part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us discuss about these fossil fuels in more detail. So we will start with coal. So coal, I'm sure all of you would have seen coal, you would have used coal. So coal, is, I mean as far as look is concerned, they are hard, black, rock-like, however lighter. So they look like rocks but they are not as heavy as rocks. Carbon is what makes coal such a valuable resource of energy. So the carbon con content in coal is very high. Now, and that is why when we burn coal, a lot of energy is produced because we are actually burning carbon. So a lot of carbon dioxide gets released. When we burn coal, what is happening? It, it burns in presence of air, in presence of oxygen. So carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Now, the most interesting part, how coal was formed. Now, we already got an idea about the formation of fossil fuels. So, the similar story with coal as well. So, it was formed from trees and plants. Now, several years ago, there were a lot of areas which were covered with dense forests. Now, due to several catastrophic reasons and one such reason like floods, what happened was all these dense forests, they were all like devastated and they all went under water because when flood happens so it's like you have too much of water everywhere so all these forests were like spoiled and all the trees plants herbs shrubs everything they went under the soil they went under the water so during floods they all got buried now what happens now when they got buried so see before flood this is how it was too many plants, too many forests everywhere. Now, after floods, all the plants, they died. They were all uprooted and they went under the soil. So you see, this is all water now. So the pl dead plants are now covered with water. So water came on top of the dead plants. Now, over a period of time, what happened was more and more soil got deposited over them. So here you see, initially there was like, little bit of soil. Now gradually it was not only that soil, there were big rocks, there were smaller rocks, there were stones and more soil and as the content of the soil, rocks and everything increased here, what was happening? These dead plants were basically getting compressed. So they were getting squeezed. Now when they were getting squeezed, all the water which was present in the dead plants, they started getting released. Now, at the same time, the, these dead plants were, were also going deeper inside. So the temperature was also increasing because if you remember in our previous lesson, we spoke about the structure of the earth. We said that we have a core. So earth looks like a sphere. At the center, you have the core. Then you have the mantle. And then outside, you have the crust. And the temperature is maximum in the interior. So core has the highest temperature and as you come out to the crust and then to the earth surface, the temperature start decreasing. Now in this case, what is happening is, now as the dead plants are going deeper, they are basically going towards the center of the earth. So they, they are actually going towards a region where the temperature is also increasing. So, so many things are happening simultaneously. These dead plants, they are getting squeezed due to more and more soil, more and more rocks getting deposited over it. Therefore, they are losing out all the water present within them. So, they are becoming dry. At the same time, they are going deeper because more and more materials are getting deposited over it. Now, as they are going deeper, they are exposed to high temperature and high pressure. So, as a result of this high temperature, high pressure, losing all the water, so this three things together result in the conversion of the dead plant remains into coal. However, this entire process of conversion doesn't happen overnight. It takes millions of years to take place. And that is why the process of coal formation is very, very slow. Now, do you think that we will be able to produce coal artificially? Now, we know that, okay, this is the process by which coal is formed. Now, can we create an artificial atmosphere where coal can be formed? That is not really feasible because we do not have so much of time because the process is so gradual that even if we create an atmosphere like this inside a laboratory, we cannot 
afford to spend millions of years, right? Because this process is extremely gradual. And that is why coal is a very precious resource because it is exhaustible. At the same time, we cannot create or we cannot make coal artificially. So this is how coal was formed. And this entire process of coal formation is called carbonization. Why is it called carbonization? Because it, it derived the name from carbon. So carbon content in coal is very high. So it is called carbonization. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.